Hello guys, so my name is Dr. Ravi Kumar Rajan. Today we are going to uh, have a tutorial on how to find IC50 value uh, once you have completed the MTTSA. Okay, cell line. So you have some cell lines. It may be breast cancer cell line, it may be neuronal cell line. So uh, once you incubate that with drug and you want to find the effect of your drug, the percentage cell viability uh, of that particular drug. So you will carry out generally MTTS. Okay. So we have uh, uh, some uh, different uh, concentrations. We will have some different concentration and you will be uh, incubating that concentration. You will be giving that different concentration of drugs to the cells and then you will check uh, the cell viability after 24 hours or 48 hours. Uh, from the cell viability, we can also uh, uh, calculate the percentage cytotoxicity. And from there, we can calculate the IC50 value or from the cell viability, percentage viability, we can calculate the ED50 value. Okay. So, uh, yeah, MDT, in MDT, you know that uh, it is nothing but the cell viability study. Uh, and uh, during MTT, uh, it is a long process. Uh, it is a long process. So in, in that process, uh, uh, you will be incubating the cells with MTT, uh, uh, which is a dye, which will convert into a formagen complex, which will form a formagen complex, and then uh, it will give a color that is purple color, okay, which we, we are going to measure at uh, 570 uh, nanometer. Okay, so generally the intensity of color indicates the cell viability. So if you have uh, more amount, more intensity, that means more cells are viable. Because this, uh, the MTT dye will be converted into formagen dye uh, by the live cell, okay, which are metabolically active cells. Okay, it is a uh, metabolically, active, it is a result of the metabolically active cells. So. So you have more cells, so more metabolism will be there, and due to that, uh, more coloration will be there. Okay, so color intensity is directly indicative of your cell viability. So let's uh, directly jump on to the calculation part. So you will have some uh, absorbance. So you will be having some concentration. Like here, I have given around uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight concentrations. So you will have some absorbance for this concentration. Okay, so generally we'll measure absorbance in triplicate. So, uh, for, so these are the absorbance. Uh, suppose these are the absorbance you have got. Okay, for the control you got this absorbance, and for blank also you have got the absorbance. So why uh, this blank is important? Because this uh, blank uh, generally removes the out layers. Okay, this blank generally removes the out layer or you can tell the background correction. So this uh, blank is very important for the background correction. Okay. So always we have to subtract this blank from the control. So in generally in, in there will be three groups you will be having. So one will be drug treated one will be drug treated group where you will be incubating cells with your desired concentration of drug. Then there will be control where there won't be any incubation of uh, your uh, any drug or any molecule or any compound which you are going to test. Okay, so there only cells will be there without any drug. Okay, everything will be there without any drug. And then comes the blank. In blank, you don't have any cells. Okay, without cells, other everything will be there like your media, like your solubilizing agent, like DMSO. So you use TMSO for uh, solubilizing your uh, drugs. So that will be also added in the uh, blank. And then the media, everything will be the antibiotics. So uh, only cells won't be there in the blank, okay? And in the control, cells will be there, but drug won't be incubated. And in the drug incubated group, you will have cells, you will have everything, and you will be incubated with the drug. Okay, so these are the three, generally, these are three different groups you will have. In the cell line study okay so now you have the absorbance you can see here these are the absorbance okay and these are the concentration okay eight concentration so first what we have to do is to find the mean for this 
observance okay so let's uh, find the mean so equals to this plus this plus this okay so you have to keep in bracket this one and divide it by six you can use the actual formula also but i prefer like this quickly don't have to remember all the formulas so now you just take it out downside and you get the mean okay you get the mean now the next thing what you have to do here is to get the uh, sample absorbance and the absorbance of blank you have to remove the absorbance of the sample from the from the absorbance of sample you have to remove the blank absorbance okay for the correction what for the correction okay so what we will do we have a absorbance of the sample that is od absorbance minus blank you have a blank okay so let first let's first calculate the mean for this one so we will drag this further and you will get the mean for the control and mean for the blank okay so let's now here we have to find the absorbance of the sample minus absorbance of the blank okay this is the absorbance of the blank okay so you this is the corrected version okay this is the corrected this is the corrected uh, absorbance so you can see how much difference is there okay so this is 9 this is 7 this is 8 or 8 okay some absorbance are corrected okay some absorbance has been corrected all the correct these all are the corrected absorbance okay now uh, another thing you have to do we have to also correct the control absorbance so here also we have to minus the absorbance of the control and the Now uh, let's see. So next is you have to divide the OD of the sample minus blank divided by OD of the control minus blank. So you have already uh, this OD of the sample minus blank is up, and you have the OD of the control minus blank. That's zero point eight eight. Okay. So just you have to divide it equals to this divided by zero point. So you get this values okay OD of the sample minus blank divided by OD of the control minus blank. So now for finding the percentage you have to multiply it by 100 okay. So equals to this multiplied by 100. So this will be your percentage so 89.7 percentage okay. So you drag it down so you will get all the percentage so if you want to find a cytotoxicity just you have to remove it just you have to subtract it to it 100 okay 100 equals to 100 minus the percentage cell biopsy just you have to drag it so in this way you can find the percentage cell viability and percentage cytotoxicity so you can have a table for this one also you can have a bar diagram, bar diagram for this one also so you will see in the papers they will give sometimes this one uh, uh, in the form of bar diagram the percentage cell viability or percentage cytotoxicity and from there you now you can calculate the <coughs> now you can calculate the uh, uh, it 50 weight or ed 50 weight. so let's calculate the it 50 weight okay so IC50 means at uh, uh, the concentration at which 50% of the population is uh, died. 
50 percent of the population is diet that is the i50 value that means the 50 percent of the population will have the toxic acid okay that is the i50 value so here response is your percentage toxicity okay and you have the concentration also now for uh, calculating this i50 you have to make a first you have to create a scatter plot so you just select these two okay concentration and the response that is percentage toxicity and then you enter a chart scatter plot okay this is your scatter plot just make it big okay so this is your scatter plot okay so in near to scatter plot you will have one plus sign you just click that plus sign and you add a trend line okay this is the trend line now click on the right click on the trend line okay and you will have an option called format trend line you have to click that format trend line and then the type of small window will open in the excel okay so in the last you see display equation on the chart and display r squared value on the chart both you have to click it mark it okay so once you click it mark it so here in the you can close it now you can see this small box which has the information of your uh, equation line okay so r square is 0.9627 which is good and y is equal to 0.7009x plus this this is in the form of y is equal to mx plus c okay so if you, you know the formula y is equal to mx plus c okay so if you can observe here you have a you have you, you will be you can see here m value is there and c the drop value is there okay so y means y you need 50 percent okay y is the response okay so you need a 50 percent means 50 percent of the population should die okay 50 percent of the population is died so you want a response of 50 percentage so you want to know at what concentration this 50 percent will come okay this 50 percent type toxicity will come at what concentration so the 50 percent is your response okay now your m is your here in the you can see 0 0.7009 in the equation and the c also you can find in the equation 13.736736 okay now you have to find the concentration concentration you have to find how much <coughs> sorry <coughs> now we will put everything in the formula and we will see okay so x will be equals to your y minus c equals to y minus c okay divided by m so you get 51.739 so now you got the concept lesson 51.7391 and let just let's make it to two decimal point 51.74 micro molar so you get a response of you get a concentration of so at 51.74 micro molar you will have a 50 percent cytotoxicity so this will be your i50 so how much is your i50 value i50 value will be your 51.74 micro molar okay so at this concentration 51.74 micro molar concentration you will have 50 percent cytotoxicity okay so you can see here also if you see here in the cytotoxicity so 50 percent should come between 45.2 and 87.7 okay between these two it should come and you can see here also in concentration between 50 and 100 so you have a concentration of 51.7 so so it is between 50 and 100 <clears throat> so we can confirm that you can almost certain that uh, your i50 calculation is correct so in this way we can calculate the i50 value 
and after doing MTT essay, you can make a table like this and you can create a graph scatter plot and from there you can calculate the IC50 value and this you can add in your uh, manuscript whenever you are preparing the manuscript. Thank you very much.